Uh, oh yeah, I'm not saying that I'm wrong or I'm right or I am whatever, 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 whatever. What? Ooh. Wait a minute. Let me station S. Get this down. How you spell it? Man. Race. Why doesn't I read it? Doesn't read it in in in. Doesn't read. Doesn't read. One time. Android. Court. Very fit. Tags. Welcome reaches $75 MLN settlement over sales and licensing practices Reuters. June 18th Reuters Qualcomm Qcom. O. Opens new tab. Agree to pay $75 million to resolve a lawsuit in which shareholders accused the chip maker of defrauding them by hiding its anti-competitive sales and licensing practices. A preliminary all-cash settlement was filed on Tuesday with the federal court in San Diego. It requires approval by U.S. District Judge Jin Suk Otter, Wasativid. The lawsuit as a class action in March 2023. Qualcomm and six individual defendants, including former chief executives Paul Jacobs and Stephen Mollenkopf, denied wrongdoing in agreeing to settle. The San Diego-based company did not immediately respond to a request for comment. Shareholders accused Qualcomm of artificially inflating its share price between February 2012 and January 2017 by repeatedly describing its chip sales and technology licensing as separate businesses, when in fact Qualcomm bundled them to stifle Qualcomm reaches $75 MLN settlement over sales and licensing practices Reuters. June 18th Reuters Qualcomm Qcom. O. Opens new tab. Agree to pay $75 million to resolve a lawsuit in which shareholders accused the chip maker of defrauding them by hiding its anti-competitive sales and licensing practices. A preliminary all-cash settlement was filed on Tuesday with the federal court in San Diego. It requires approval by U.S. District Judge Jin Suk Otter, Wasativid. The lawsuit as a class action in March 2023. Qualcomm and six individual defendants, including former chief executives Paul Jacobs and Stephen Mollenkopf, denied wrongdoing in agreeing to settle. The San Diego-based company did not immediately respond to a request for comment. Shareholders accused Qualcomm of artificially inflating its share price between February 2012 and January 2017 by repeatedly describing its chip sales and technology licensing as separate businesses, when in fact Qualcomm bundled them to stifle competition. In January 2017, the Federal Trade Commission opens new tab. And Apple Apple dot O opens new tab suit opens new tab Qualcomm
Qualcomm reaches $75 ml in settlement over sales and licensing practices Reuters. June 18th Reuters Qualcomm Qcom. O. Opens new tab. Agreed to pay $75 million to resolve a lawsuit in which shareholders accused the chip maker of defrauding them by hiding its anti-competitive sales and licensing. Practices. A preliminary all-cash settlement was filed on Tuesday with the federal court in San Diego. It requires approval by U.S. District Judge Jinsuk Otta, Wasativid. The lawsuit as a class action in March 2023. Qualcomm and six individual defendants, including former chief executives Paul Jacobs and Stephen Mollenkopf, denied wrongdoing in agreeing to settle. The San Diego-based company did not immediately respond to a request for comment. Shareholders accused Qualcomm of artificially inflating its share price between February 2012 and January 2017 by repeatedly describing its chip sales and technology licensing as separate businesses, when in fact Qualcomm bundled them to stifle competition. In January 2017, the Federal Trade Commission opens new tab and Apple Apple. O. Opens new tab suit. Opens new tab. Qualcomm separately in connection with its alleged efforts to monopolize the market for baseband processors, a type of chip used in cell phones. Apple said Qualcomm used its monopoly position to overcharge for chips and seek onerous and costly terms for technology licenses. Qualcomm calls the claims baseless, but its share price fell 13% on the first full trading day after Apple sued. The case is in re-Qualcomm Incorporated Securities Litigation, U.S. District Court, Southern District of California, number 17-00121. The Technology Roundup newsletter brings the latest news and trends straight to your inbox. Sign up a reporting by Jonathan Stempel in New York. Editing by David Gregorio. Our standards the Thomson Reuters Trust Principles. Opens new tab. Oh. Uh. Um, um, I'm just gonna go what I can see. Uh, uh, um, yeah, it's, it's good. Uh, in Australia, um, it's good, it's good. Everything they said was good because in Australia, uh, they're having problem with um, G3, um, getting rid of G3 and it's um, pressing up the um phones and it's good it's good it's a lot of work um cyber attack uh new chips new ai uh people are creative uh it's, it's good 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 uh and now now and now it says here it says here here this is the philippines this is Philippi no chinese uh no no this one this one this one this one blue Oh no, get down. After Techno's death, the Masai Dream SMP community really went to SHT. R slash Technoblid. For the past almost two years, holy crap it's actually been close to two years, since Techno's death, the Masai Dream SMP community really has gone downhill. From the beef between Dream and Quackity and the Dream SMP basically splitting in two and a lot of former members talking shit about other former members. To Dream having false allegations towards him and being bullied and mocked for at least a year straight. Two, the obvious, Wilbur being exposed as an abuser as of today. There is also some other smaller controversies, but the main ones, in my opinion, are the ones I said. At this point, I'm glad Techno didn't get to see his friends splitting up and being exposed for not being good people. Especially for Wilbur, who was one of his best friends. Okay. Very good. I don't dispute. 
say I'm wrong. Oh, aim to me, shake the no, no, don't do that. We're looking for the. You can rewind. You can rewind all that. All different news. I read it out because. I don't know why I read it out. That's the thing. I read it out. I love it. Into me sector. Join my channel. Les jeux vidéo d'horreur culte reprennent vie. Les affaires. Paris en perte de vitesse ces dernières décennies. Les sagas horrifiques les plus populaires des jeux vidéo retrouvent une deuxième jeunesse à la faveur de nouvelle version lifting numérique des succès des années 1990-2000e. Mardi, c'est au tour de l'éditeur japonais Konami de présenter une version modernisée du deuxième épisode d'Izzy. Oh. Qui plonge ses personnages dans une ville brume. C'est une French actor. C'est un français. Oh, sorry. Cardens after his New Year's Day by JP King's Club. By JP King's Club, listen online for free on SoundCloud. About your privacy. We process your data to deliver content or advertisements and measure the delivery of such content or advertisements to extract insights about our website. We share this information with our partners on the basis of consent. You may exercise your right to consent or object to a specific purpose below or at a partner level in the link under each purpose. These choices will be signaled to our vendors participating in the transparency and consent framework. Read more about our cookie policy. Manage consent preferences. These cookies are necessary for the website to function and cannot be switched off in our systems. They are usually only set in response to actions made by you which amount to a request for services, such as setting your privacy preferences, logging in or filling in forms. You can set your browser to block or alert you about these cookies, but some parts of the site will not then work. These cookies do not store any personally identifiable information. These cookies enable the website to provide enhanced functionality and personalization. They may be set by us or by third-party providers whose services we have added to our page. Stream to Cardens after his New Year's Day by JP King's Club. By JP King's Club, listen online for free on SoundCloud. About your privacy. We process your data to deliver content or advertisements and measure the delivery of such content or advertisements to extract insights about our website. We share this information with our partners on the basis of consent. You may exercise your right to consent or object to a specific purpose below or at a partner level in the link under each purpose. These choices will be signaled to our vendors participating in the transparency and consent framework. Read more about our cookie policy. Manage consent preferences. These cookies are necessary for the website to function and cannot be switched off in our systems. They are usually only set in response to actions made by you which amount to a request for services, such as setting your privacy preferences, logging in or filling in forms. You can set your browser to block or alert you about these cookies, but some parts of the site will not. They are you. These cookies are necessary for the website to function and cannot be switched off in our systems. They are usually only set in response to actions made by you which amount to a request for services, such as setting your privacy preferences, logging in or filling in forms. You can set your browser to block or alert you about these cookies, but some parts of the site will not then work. These cookies do not store any personally identifiable information. These cookies enable the website to provide enhanced functionality and personalization. They may be set by us or by third-party providers whose services we have added to our pages. If you do not allow these cookies, 
then some or all of these services may not function properly. These cookies allow us to count visits and traffic sources, so we can measure. All right, all right, who cares? Who cares? Ah, uh, SoundCloud, SoundCloud, SoundCloud. Okay, okay, okay. Experience cutting edge fear in AILA, a psychological techno horror coming 2025 respawning, game reviews by actual gamers. Face the future of horror. Fireshin Games today announced that first person horror AILA will bring its Welcome to Steam. Sign in to view personalized recommendations. Recommended based on the games you play. Your discovery queue. Sign in to view and browse your personalized discovery queue. You have viewed all the products. In your discovery queue for today. You have finished your list for today, but if you're eager for more you can click below to generate another set. Learn more. From developers and publishers that you know browse all. New and trending. The 30th of October, 2024. Bad Too Bad, Apocalypse. Indie, RPG, Action RPG, Post Apocalyptic. The 30th of October. Oh, oh, alright, alright, sorry. Sorry, uh, I have to pick one. Don't worry about it, Hector, you have to pick one. Steam Deck trademark sign. Powerful, portable PC gaming, designed for comfort and a console-like user experience. Steam Decold. All the things you love about Steam Deck, now with an old screen, better battery life, faster Wi-Fi, and more. Brighter colors, blacker blacks. Steam Deck's HDR old display is designed from the ground up for gaming, with striking contrast, brilliant clarity, and a larger picture. With more colors, pure blacks, and amazing motion rendition, you'll see your games in a new light. More time to play. Steam Deck Old has 30-50% more battery life. We fit a bigger battery into the case, and the old display draws less power. Add in an updated, more efficient AMD APU and you have way more time to play your favorites. Faster downloads. Steam Deck Old comes with Wi-Fi 6E, offering increased bandwidth and lower latency. This means faster downloads up to three times faster. And stable online play. Lighter, cooler. Thanks to a bigger fan and updated... Oh... Leave it, Hector. Don't touch it. You're annoying pain in the ass. This is the best that, um, and it's control. It's like, um, the next, everything. Rewind, 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 rewind. I love you. I'm wearing a black. I should have done the excursion where up the blue mountain with the, um, birds and the waterfalls. I should have gone and done it years ago and, taking films of it, why don't you go to it, why don't you explore all around the horses and, and um, what the, the, the uh, opera house, the bridge, you're a dickhead like that, oh no, this is the one, yes, don't touch it again, Hector is beautiful, I love you, Hector is beautiful, I love you. Steam Deck trademark sign, powerful, portable PC gaming, Designed for comfort and a console-like user experience. Steam Decold. All the things you love about Steam Deck. Now with an old screen, better battery life, faster Wi-Fi, and more. Brighter colors, blacker blacks. Steam Deck's HDR old display is designed from the ground up for gaming, 
with striking contrast, brilliant clarity, and a larger picture. With more colors, pure blacks, and amazing motion rendition, you'll see your games in a new light. More time to play. Steam Deck Old has 30-50% more battery life. We fit a bigger battery into the case, and the old display draws less power. Add in an updated, more efficient AMD APU and you have way more time to play your favorites. Faster downloads. Steam Deck Old comes with Wi-Fi 6E, offering increased bandwidth and lower latency. This means faster downloads up to three times faster. And stable online play. Lighter, cooler. Thanks to a bigger fan and updated thermals, Steam Deck Old runs cooler. It weighs 30G, or tilde 5% light. You can fuck it up with the fuck it up with the fuck it up. Australia, Sydney, Melbourne, Canberra. Australia, Sydney, Melbourne, Canberra. Into me sector. Lighter than the LCD model, due to the screen. Add in an updated, more efficient AMD APU and you have way more time to play your favorites. Faster downloads. Steam Deck Old comes with Wi-Fi 6E, offering increased bandwidth and lower latency. This means faster downloads up to three times faster. And stable online play. Lighter, cooler. Thanks to a bigger fan and updated thermals, Steam Deck Old runs cooler. It weighs 30G, or tilde 5% lighter than the LCD model, due to the screen. Steam Deck Features All Steam Decks both LCD and old are powerful, portable, PC gaming devices made for comfort, and a console-like experience. Portability meets power. We partnered with AMD to create Steam Deck's customer poo, optimized for handheld gaming. It is a Sen 2 Plus Arduino 2 powerhouse, delivering more than enough performance to run the latest AAA games in a very efficient power envelope. Control with Com. It is a set. We partnered with AMD to create Steam Deck's customer poo, optimized for handheld gaming. It is a Sen 2 Plus Arduino 2 powerhouse, delivering more than enough performance to run the latest AAA games in a very efficient power envelope. Control with Comfort. The Steam Deck was built for extended play sessions whether you're using thumbsticks or trackpads with full size controls positioned perfectly within your reach. The rear of the device is sculpted to comfortably fit a wide range of hand sizes. Console-like experience. Steam Deck has a user-friendly interface, specifically designed for its gamepad controls. Its software and operating system are tailored for Steam Deck, making it the easiest way to get into PC gaming. Tech Specs. Compute. 6 nanometers AMD APU. CPU, Zen 2 4C slash 8T, 2.4 minus 3.5 gigahertz up to 448 GFLOPS FB32. GPU, 8 Arduino 2 CUS, 1.6 gigahertz 1.6 TFLOPS FB32. APU power, 4 to 15 W. 16 gigabytes LPDDR5 on board RAM 6400 MT slash S quad 32 bit channels. Steam Deck 512 gigabytes NVMe SSD. Steam Deck 1 TB NVMe SSD. Both include high-speed micro SD card slot. Controls and input. A BXY buttons. D. gsmariner.com mobile phone reviews, news, specs, home, news, reviews, all phones, copyright sign 2000 to 2024 gsmariner.com, privacy terms glossary contact use phone finder, desktop version change ad consento not sell my data.
Vivo X200 Pro Review Gsmariner.com Tests This is it, this is this is what you call it, um the beard the beard hater where what 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 would be how the beard? This is OnePlus's new flagship, the OnePlus 12. What's new this year? I'm Will for GSM. Okay, okay. Uh, um, uh, I'm not uh, uh, reacting to this. I don't know how to. No, I'm not doing. Wah, 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 wah. Shut up! I don't care. This is a fun in my say that it's allowed uh, another year. Say seven years, eight years, eight years. Um, um, update. Saying that the G sub they are going up and they and they um so they can buy more of the phone. They're doing they're tricking the humans, they're tricking the humans by saying that hey, hey, yeah, I update or something like not doing it, I'm not doing it. Rena, and let's find out in our one plus twelve review. It's a one one plus twelve review. Oh, I have to turn on, turn on the uh, catcher. Turn on the catcher. I had a haircut. I'm back. Stay the wet down. Wait, wait, wait. Uh, yeah, one, one, two. Um. Good rating for loudness and sound quality is better than last year. A bit boomier in the low end, while vocals are equally nice. You can listen for yourself through the provided link. For biometrics, there's an under-display fingerprint reader, and it's quite fast and reliable. The global model of the OnePlus 12 comes with 256 or 512 gigs of storage on board, and that isn't expandable through microSD. The interface of the phone is OnePlus's Oxygen OS 14 on top of Android 14. The look, feel, and experience are basically identical to what you'd get on an Oppo or Realme phone, since they all come from the same manufacturer. The major differences here are a custom font and specific OnePlus clock styles. Okay, motherfuckers, okay, motherfuckers. Into me sector, subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. How to turn off, how to turn off. Hey. Uh, get it, go, get it, go, do it, do it, do it. You might win, you might, you might, oh, 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 they kill your punch, Hector. Get out of it, please. Subscribe to Intermediate Hector. My God. Oh, excuse me. Oh, how, uh, uh, nice.